In this session, we are going to have a look at some functions that SQL Server provides. So there are many types of functions that SQL Server provides that is inbuilt. Uh, one of them being aggregate functions, right? So you have a set of rows and you want to find the averages, so you have to find the sum, you find the count, and so on and so forth. The second set of aggregate functions that you would commonly use is string functions, right? You 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 have a lot of data that is just text data and you want to manipulate that text data right something like um, um, convert everything to uppercase or convert everything to lowercase or concatenate two strings um, you know something like that so those things would be really very useful when you want to do uh, that operation so let's look at some examples and what we're going to do here is we are going to reuse a table that we created you remember we created the my salary table and we're going to run some aggregate functions um, in that one. Okay, so let's first look at the my salary table. So I'm going to say select star from my salary. And sure enough, we just have three rows. We kept it very simple. And what we're going to do is we are going to find the average of the salaries. That is average of 10,000, 8,000 and 6,000. That is this column. And the way you can do that is using an inbuilt function called select AVG or average and you give the column name. Right? And it'll automatically, you know, add them and divide by three and it'll give you the result 8000. Now, similarly, if you just want to get a count, right, there is an inbuilt function called count of salary and from my salary. So it's basically three entries. Okay, now tell me what will happen if I write something like this, select count of star from my salary. Basically saying count of everything. What will happen? You will still get three, because it's a row wise operator and it's just counting the number of rows. Okay, all right, let's proceed and let's open up our table again and write some other function. So what we'll do is we'll find the summation of all the rows. That is 10,000 plus 8,000 plus 6,000. And the way we do it is using the function called sum of salary from my salary. Right, so let us execute both of this. So 10,000 plus 8,000 plus 6,000 is 24,000. Okay, let's look at something else. Let's find the minimum salary. So your minimum salary is 6,000 from the whole table. And so the way you do it is using the word min, the keyword min, salary from my salary. Minimum is 6,000. And similarly, you can extend that same idea to find the maximum salary as well. So these are some of the functions that are inbuilt to you know, uh, perform some aggregations. So of course, when you query, you will use where clauses and stuff. Give me average month wise or give me average year wise. Um, you know, that's where your group by clauses and all those come into picture. Give me um, just the average of distinct rows, something like that. But you know, you, 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 get to, you get to combine these different set of functions to kind of manipulate your data. All right, so once we have this, let's move forward let's look at some string functions and for string functions what we're going to do is we're going to use the my order table that we created just in the last session so select star from my order and just four rows to keep it simple some order one two three four this is when we played around with joints um, we created this so let's look at a concept of concatenating two strings right and the way we do it is you can just first of all write something like this concat my string one and my string two oops string one comma string two so this is how we get it if you want to put a space just to make it look nice so the concatenate function or concat function basically takes, takes a set of parameters and just joins them together or concatenates them together. 
So if we were to concatenate strings from this table, let's try out something like this. Select uh, order number, um, order name, and let's say concat my order name, give it a space with itself, right? Just order name, space, order name. And let's also give this an alias as concatenated text from my order. Let's see if this works. Sure enough, we see that it basically concatenated the same values. Um, and that's the result. Okay, now since I have you here, let me show you something else. Let's uh, concatenate with a random number so that we look at one more function. It is called RAND, random function. And it'll just return, you know, a random number. Uh, I believe it's between zero and one, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. All right, so now since we, we are playing around with string functions, Sometimes you would like to not concatenate a string, but to take just a portion of your string, right? One example I can give you is uh, in, in one of the databases I've been dealing with, it stores email messages, right? It has a column to store a subject line. It has a column to store some body and stuff like that. And typically this data basically says that, um, you know, for in the subject line of the email, the first five characters would be some product ID followed by a colon and followed by some custom subject line. So I wanted to extract the first five characters from the subject line that is a string. The way we do it is, there are many ways to do it and let me show you some of them. One is using the left function. The left function goes something like this, select and let's say order number, order name. And what I want is the first five characters in the left side, right? So I want from my order name only the first five characters. Let's see what the results look like. So sure enough, it gave me just the five characters. Now, similarly, you can do the same for your right also. And the function name is, you know, just call right. Let me put a comment here so that it's easier. And it gives you from the rightmost part, um, you know, five characters. We looked at left, we looked at right. Now, what if you want just something in the middle, right? How would you do that? And the way we do that is using something called as a substring. Substring is again uh, an inbuilt function. And what you can do is select order number, order name, and we use substring. And the way this works is you give the column name and say that, okay, I need from character number two to character, and you know, go, go five places to the right from character number two. Let's look at the results that'll give you a good idea. So, oops, from, my order and you see that what it did was it started from character number two and went up to five places to the right right so if i say something like three it'll start from character number three and go to five places and so on and so forth so this is where you need to you know do something in the middle right you need to do some string manipulations right in the middle okay now you see the order name column, everything is in uppercase. What if I want to just make everything as lowercase? The way we do it is using the two low, uh, the lower function. So select order number, order name, just to look at it. And I say that, oops, and I say that use the lower function and give me just the order name in lowercase. So it just converted everything to lowercase. And naturally, you can use the same thing to convert everything to uppercase also. And the keyword is pretty much, you know, you must have guessed it, it's called upper 
and this will give you the uppercase characters okay great so we looked at uppercase we looked at lowercase how about we look at the length i mean many times you might want to know what is the length of the string and and we will look at some examples where you would use it um, but the way you can get the length is using the len or length function which is again in will just count the characters count the number of characters in your um, column in your input and return an integer so everything is 10 characters and it returns an integer all right now let's look at hmm, let's, let's try to do something something interesting let's combine a couple of functions what I want to do is in this order name I want to display the first letter in uppercase and remaining everything in lowercase right so how do you do that well there are many approaches to do that and one of the way is you know let's say order number order name and the way I'm going to do it is uh, using the concat function, right? I'm going to convert the first letter to an upper and the convert everything else to lower and I'm going to concatenate both. So how can we do that? So first thing is I need to convert the first one to upper. So I'm just going to use the left function and get the order name and just take one character. So this will give me the, you know, the first um, letter in uppercase then what I want to do is I want to say convert so I'm saying um, let's say okay next I want to select from character number two to end of string right so again it's it's basically the substring function and what I need to do is order name from character number two to end of string now how do I know end of string it's very simple we use the length function to get the length of string right and we just concatenate both of them simple hopefully this should work let's see oops this didn't work oh wait um, substring Ah, I need to convert this to lower. Okay, this, perfect. So you see that this basically took the first character, converted into upper. Then it took from second character to end of the string that converted to lower and we just concatenated both these strings. So this is one example where you would, you know, use your string manipulations and stuff like that. Uh, the other one I wanted to show you was the trim functions. Now, many times your data may contain spaces, right? Something like this. My text, some custom text, space, 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 space. So naturally this, you know, it accounts for spaces as well. And the way you can actually um, see that is, you know, if you run a length function over this, it'll actually count the spaces as well. So you see the length is 10, right? And the way you can remove these spaces is there are there are multiple functions, the two functions actually. One is remove spaces on the left side and remove then remove spaces on the right side. So it's called the left side L trim or the left trim. And you just insert it's 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 a function. So if you just write L trim and you know your your text, it'll basically remove the spaces from the left side of the text but it'll still retain the ones on the right side. And by now you must have guessed to remove them from right hand side, you basically use the R trim. Now, if you want to remove spaces from both, you rightly guessed it, you use both. Left trim and then right trim. Okay, so these are some of the examples where you would use these functions and I think we have covered quite uh, some of the critical stuff that you would require some date manipulation some string manipulation um, uh, aggregate functions and stuff which you would typically require in your day-to-day -day work or analysis that you would ever need to do